Hi, my name is Danny Rudisevich. Back there's Apollo. Uh, I'm a PhD student with the University of Wyoming Cedar Lab, and I'm here to talk to you about some of the summer outreach camps Cedar put on this summer. Uh, outreach camps are a big part of Cedar and one of our primary focuses. We put on three camps this year, Y Slice, led by myself, Jen Cyber, led by Andy Robbins, and Y Stack, led by Mason Johnson. I'll talk about each of them briefly, as well as how we plan to expand in the future. Starting off, we had Y Slice. Y Slice was a summer camp for educators around the state and the country to come together and learn ways to start to incorporate computer science topics into their curriculum. They had a week-long program where they worked with students from the university, as well as other educators to help tackle different computer science topics. They programmed in micro, micro bits, uh, learned um, OpenJS CAD, which is using computer-aided design with JavaScript, as well as did some other challenges with different micro bits and other computer science topics. Throughout the week, they also worked with Dr. Mike Brofchek and Dr. Andrea Burroughs to help develop lesson plans to incorporate computer science topics into their curriculums. And computer science topics aren't just programming. It can be a wide variety of things from problem solving to talking about electronics. These lesson plans are shared not shared out with all the other educators from the program and all the educators also have access to previous years recordings as well. In the lower left hand corner of the poster you can see an example of how coding with the micro bits can be done. This example was pairing or pairing different micro bits for a form of voting and it teaches computer science programming topics with a nice drag and drop interface. On to Gen Cyber. Gen Cyber is a camp we put on that's sponsored by the NSA. It is focused on both educators as well as students. We have uh, both educators and students participating in it. The first two days, they condensed the previous year's content to explore the HAM model of cybersecurity. They also exposed the beginners to the microbit platform, kind of like what happened in Gen, or excuse me, in Y Slice. And they also developed a microbit solar assembly, which you can see pictures of down in that middle column there. The teachers, again, helped to collaboratively develop lesson plans, and they iterated those plans after the teacher and student engagement session to help refine them. At the end of the week, teachers were sent back to their original communities to implement their own lesson plans. Finally, we had Y Stack. Y Stack was a more unique camp this summer. It allowed high school STEM teachers to conduct research of their own aided by computer science students here at the university. They had a choice of four different research projects uh, utilizing 3D printing parameters or excuse me optimizing 3D printing parameters through AI, exploring human movement as another way to perform a CAPTCHA, developing methods to distribute data throughout a drone swarm, and capturing and then using brainwaves as a method of authentication. These gave educators a chance to conduct higher level research and start learning some computer science basics to do so. Our challenges and future works. Um, these camps grow year to year and that's one of the things we aim for. Next year, we want to have even more educators and librarians around from around the state and the country participate in these and we hope to expand to reach these programs to as many of Wyoming's educators as we can. The goal in game is for Wyoming's K through 12 educators to be as possible to teach computer science to their students. Computer science, computer science is a big part of the world and it isn't just computer literacy or programming, it's also basic problem solving. And as the world grows more technologically dependent, so does the need for computer science. Thank you for watching.